Hi guys, and we are back with MLS Monday. How are you doing? Um, you know, I'm covering MLS Monday here again. The second episode, I think I've covered it before, but this I've covered the MLS before in like a uh, one weekly recap. But I have not co- I have not covered it a second time in its own video, so we'll do that now with water. Pure life water. Okay, let's start with New York City FC managing a tie with Toronto 1-1. Then Houston Dynamo breaking its losing streak finally with a 2-0 win against Minnesota United. A goal from Mauro Minotas in the 37th minute and from Christian Ramirez in the 44th minute. Uh, Colorado Rapids versus LA Galaxy. Now, Colorado, the uh, Colorado won 2 1, which I'm kind of surprised at, but uh, they're doing pretty good right now. Uh, but I think LA Ga- Galaxy could have gotten a win. Uh, but let's keep going with Rio Salt Lake versus San Jose Earthquakes. Um, Rio Salt Lake got the 1 0 win, with the only goal coming in the 75th minute uh, when Damir Kraylak put, uh, put the ball in the back of the net. New York City FC versus San Jose Earthquakes. Uh, there were goals from the first goal. I think came from Chris Wanda Wanda Slosky, um, which put San Jose ahead. But New York City FC got back with goals from Kaden Kaden Parks and Alexandro Mitrida. Uh, then Chicago Fire destroyed, obliter- obliterated FC Dallas four nail. I watched this game, I mean, part of it, but I wasn't really paying attention to it, you know. I was just hearing it, and uh, you know, that's the only thing. Um, uh, Atlanta United lost against Columbus Columbus Crew, which I'm, re- I'm really disappointed at Atlant- Atlanta United losing like that, but yeah. Uh, with a goal from Joseph Martinez becoming the first in the 19th minute, but then... Many minutes later, 53rd, Giazzi Sardes got a goal. And seven minutes after that, Luis Diaz made it 2-1. At the dying moments of the match, Miles Robinson got an own goal. Hey, at least he got a goal, right? <laughs> um, Montreal Impact lost 1-0 one, uh, against Cincinnati FC. I'm trying to look for my water. Um <clears throat> Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Ma- um, Philadelphia Union tied against LAFC 1-1. Orlando City tied against New England Revolution 3-3. Why are there so many, like, patriotic names in the MLS? Like, New England Revolution, um, <laughs> Philadelphia Union, uh, Montreal Impact. Yeah. Columbus Crew, LA Galaxy, um, Minnesota United, DC United. There we go, and FC Dallas, of course. I mean, how? Where will you find a more patriotic name than FC Dallas and um, Toronto FC in the MLS? Uh, yeah, uh, Whitecaps. Van- the Vancouver Whitecaps won two one against Houston Dy- Dynamo, which sucks. We should have won that game. And by the way, yes, I do live in Houston, so I am a Houston Dynamo supporter. Um, the first goal came in uh, the fifty fourth minute when inbound one from the Whitecaps uh, won um, won a penalty, and it was conceded by. Mauro Manotas, Manotos, he has appeared in our video again. Congratula- congratula- <laughs> congratulations, Mauro, Mauro. Um, but this time, he made a handball, and uh, in Biom Huang, slotted in the penalty. By saying that, I feel like saying Sung Hyung might mean. Do you know how, like, it's so confusing? Like, sometimes you accidentally say 
Hyung Min Sung? Or is it, is it Hyung Min Sung? It is Hyung Min Sung. See, it's confusing. I just said he was Sung Hyung Min, but he isn't. He's him, him, what? forget it. <laughs> um, but then Mauro Minotas yet appears yet again and tied it in the 78th minute. 12 minutes later, Freddy Montero got a goal though. So yeah, sorry uh, Minotas, uh, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that handball, okay? Uh, the Portland Timbers, let's go to them. Lost against DC United, 1-0. Uh, Toronto FC took on Col the Colorado Rapids and won 3-2. While Minnesota United uh, got a 3-1 win against Real Salt Lake. And the Seattle Sounders got a 4-2 win against New, uh, New York Red Bulls. Um, you know, Seattle Sounders, they aren't as good as they used to be, but they're still really, really good. And then LA Galaxy got a, uh, hear this, hear this, hear this, so, okay, Galaxy, uh, like, pretend you're watching this game, like, oh yeah, Alexi, LA, <laughs> LA Galaxy just got to go with Sladen, whatever, Ibrahimovic. Um, oh, Felipe Gutierrez just tied it for Sporting Kansas. Oh, oh. Second half, here comes another goal for LA Galaxy. Oh, and and another. Okay, okay. Oh, so Kansas City got a goal. Uh, oh, the LA Galaxy just scored four more. See, LA Galaxy killed, murdered. Um, um, devastated. Can Sporting Kansas City 7 2. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 7 2. Oh, God. Uh, they scored as many goals as this video, uh, as how long this video is right now. Seven minutes. Check it. Check. Come on. Check. Yeah. <laughs> um, f uh, Sladen Ibrahimovic got three goals, Felipe Gutierrez got two goals. Uh, the only goals from for Sporting Kansas City, Joe Corona uh, from LA Galaxy got one goal, Carlos Atuna one goal, and Seba Sebastian Leggett two goals. I was about to say Leggett, <laughs> but let's go to the groups. First with Group East, uh, where New York City, uh, where New York City FC is leading fifty with fifty seven points. Philadelphia Union has 52 points. Atlanta United has 48. At fourth comes Toronto FC with 45. Then very patriotic name. America. Uh, okay. <laughs> We're done with that part. Uh, fifth place comes DC United, 45 points. Uh, sixth place comes NY... Um, New York Red Bulls, I was about to say NYRB, because, you know, yeah. Um, then at 7th comes New England Revolution with 40, then is Montreal Impact with 37 points, Chicago Fire with 37 points, Orlando City with 36 points, Columbus Crew with 34 points, and Cincinnati, NFC Cincinnati with 21 what are you doing, FC Cincinnati? It's match day 27. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's only three match days left for you to get up there to the knockout stages of the MLS thingy. Uh, the, yeah, the thingy. <laughs> they, yeah, I don't know why they do that. It's just stupid. Why can't they just do a... A league with all the teams, the whole 24 teams, and why don't they even do relegation? It's such an that's such an exciting part of soccer. You have to buy yourself into the league. That sucks, man. MLS, get get things right. You think by just adding FC and United that your team will be that your name. That your team name would be a good team name. No, that's not how it works. 
try something, not just add FC to anything. Wait, by the way, let me make a quick count to how many teams have F FC in their name. Six teams. Like, it's not necessary, MLS. Three teams in Group West, which are the Vancouver Whitecaps FC, um, Dallas FC, and LAFC. And uh, three for Group East, which are uh, New York City FC, uh, Toronto FC, and uh, FC Cincinnati. So, yeah. Yeah. What am I saying now? Uh, let me go on. Let me go on and stop and stop raging about the MLS now. Um, in Group West, LAFC, <coughs> LAFC is still leading with sixty-four points, but I believe they only got one point out of this match day, so isn't really looking very good for them. But again, they are like uh, fifteen points ahead. You know, just fifteen points. I mean, no huge deal, right? Um, uh, the Seattle Sounders coming up second with 49 points. Uh, Minnesota United coming up, coming up at 48 points at third. Real Salt Lake, 46 points. LA Galaxy only at fifth, but they did come up really, like, three places, uh, with thir 45 points. The San Jose Earthquakes with 44 points in sixth. At seventh, the Portland Timbers, uh, forty-three points. Da <clears throat> uh, Dallas FC with forty-three points, eighth place. Uh, ninth place, Sporting Kansas City, thirty-seven points. Tenth place, Colorado Rapids with thirty-six points. Eleventh, Houston Dynamo, thirty-four points. Come on, Houston. What has happened to me? I made a mistake. Eh. Okay, uh, 12th place, Vancouver Whitecaps FC. Uh, by the way, I'm also going to count real quick how many teams have United in them. Okay, three teams, but that's too much. Uh, but yeah, bye guys. Um, Hope you're having a good day. And Harry Potter poster over there yeah there it is <laughs> and um you know long live barcelona